Hey guys, so I got one more video here. Um, hope you guys didn't mind the Iron Giant unboxing. Uh, I just wanted to do one more, and it's this here. This is the 30th anniversary edition of the Aliens movie. Now the reason why I got it is because when it, they first announced it, they didn't even have like a picture for it on Amazon. It was nine dollars. Now it's like twenty bucks or something. So I definitely uh, <laughs> I, I lucked out there. And I wanted to update it from my Blu-ray here, mainly because of this. Ugh, French. Ugh, the ruins. Like, I don't even understand why it's here. Aliens and then Aliens de Tour. The only time that French has ever been alright for me was on Mad Max Fury Road, where it was, it came out as La Route de Chaos. And then the other one, which was Alien, which it says the eighth passenger in French. And I've always found that interesting because that was apparently uh, a title that the film used a lot in the European release. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Anyways, so I'm replacing this one here with this one, which I'm correct, is a lot of the same, but different. Anyways, so this is the 30th anniversary edition of the film. And get it out. Oh, would you look at that? The cover's exactly the same. Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Holy crap, but it just doesn't have that French gibberish on it. Woo, for me! So really, the main part of this box set is that, well, there's two things. One, there's another, um, there's a new featurette with James Cameron talking about this movie. And this is basically what I bought it for. Now, I really don't, I'm actually happy I bought this for $9, because if I bought this for more than $9, I'd have been a little bit pissed that all I was getting was the same box, movie, everything, and then this little thingy here. So these are the cards and oh that's awesome. <laughs> Look at Bill Paxton, he looks so serious. Alright. Well that's a lot of cards in here. So oh this is probably the book. Or no, no wait, this is the book, okay. 30 Years of Terror and wow this is just a bunch of really screwed up fan art over the years. Okay. Interesting. That kind of looks a little bit like uh, Mike McDonald. Oh, it is. Mike McDonald work from. Uh, that's kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's on the Omnibus first edition. Oh, this is kind of cool. Just stuff from the comics and all the series. Okay, that's cool. All right, now this is the one that really interested me when I saw. Eventually saw details about it. So these are. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the wall, except I don't really, oh, I see body bones and whatnot. Oh, uh, there's the, that's the queen. That's, I don't know what that is. Ooh. That's another concept art of the queen. This is more of LV-426, I guess. Oh, it's that chick. Oh, is that, no. Uh... Is that Michael Bean? I think that's Michael Bean there. That's a guy. That's more concept art. And, oh, that's cool. Look at that. Mind you, uh, Ripley has a little bit longer hair. Okay, well, okay. So that's not bad. Uh, the fact that I got this for $9, I definitely do not mind. Uh, if you guys paid more for this, that sucks for you because this definitely is not <laughs> worth more than $9. They literally just packaged the movie with one more featurette, if I'm correct, and then these cards. Which is okay with me, I don't mind, because I got this for $9, but if you got this for more than $9, I feel sorry for you, because you definitely, uh, you got a little bit jet. Anyway guys, that's all for me, um, I'm sorry this one isn't as eventful as the last one, but... Yeah, if you can find this for cheap, buy it. Do not get it, though, if you literally already own this movie, because it's a total waste of time. Uh, unless you really, really, really want these art cards. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys later.